Hello everyone, it's Matt here and welcome to the post show vlog for Black Country Bix. Um, the event went extremely well. Um, by about 4pm uh, we were taking the show photo outside um, and then after that because pretty much we had so few visitors after that point we, um, Paul announced that the show could was not close close but people could start packing away stuff and you know starting to prepare to pack away and that sort of stuff um, which actually worked out really well for a lot of the exhibitors um, me personally I was only a volunteer but I was able to get away at about half five maybe quarter to six because um, I was helping them move some of the tables and tidy up and do a few other bits and pieces so um, you know big central members uh, doing their part there so uh um, and I've got a new brick, uh, the show brick, so it's the bottom one, the Black Country Brick Show. Um, so I've actually got one for a new event now. Um, I could have also picked up my Sheffield Log Brick and didn't. You know, dumb cop for a moment. Um, but um, shows are always a, always a great thing to uh, you know, socialise and that sort of stuff. So I'm going to start looking into um, Great Ball Contraption Modules, um, possibly linking into... Um, ones we're going to have at shows uh, from Sheffield Loki especially because um, that's where a good portion of the members who do that sort of thing are with not so many in Brick Central um, and speaking of that of that sort of stuff um, some members uh, from my logs are also generous enough to donate pieces to various projects so um, the one guy who actually won the best in show with the GB uh, Great Ball Contraction Modules also done some parts to my t uh, tank cars. So we have uh, some uh, 4x4 round bricks here uh, in white and red. And they also donated one in black as well as two 4x4 round plates in black. So I now have enough um, to do some more on the uh, tank car. Um, not vents, but sort of like the mounts for like the vents and the filler cap so um it's good i've got those so i can start doing those and start doing some detailing um mike from who's uh the brick central ambassador at the moment uh also donated these one by three jumper uh tiles so these are a one by three tile with two studs on uh, so it's a popular variation of the one by two jumper tile but it's got two studs on um really useful if you're doing um brick model rail or freight cars uh the box cars especially because it's just the one that sits and just uh the right size to sit underneath the uh roof walkway um you can put one of those and it just fills in that gap nicely and and it's an and it's an official part and you don't have to use double-sided uh sticky tape for that um uh, I'm going to move on to um, Hannah now. So Hannah runs Hannah's Brick Pits and there's an Instagram for it and all that sort of stuff. Um, and she's been Brick Central. She donated a load of green parts and parts for Monofig. So yeah. so I have a good uh, selection of parts here so I can start doing some more on the Susquehanna Hopper. Um, Susquehanna Hopper is a very much a part bin. You know, it sort of, or parts black hole, I should say, you know, sucks a lot in and then you don't seem to make much progress and then all of a sudden you do a few bits and, you know, there's progress. Um, I'm sure it's also running a stand, so I was able to get a load of uh, parts as well, or buy a load from her. So we have two by four plates in black, which you can never be too sh short of when you're doing uh, trains. Um, two by six plates in black as well. I'm always on the search for those, so I'm always running out. Um, some 4x4 four four round plates in black. Oh, I now have enough now, so I don't need any more. Um, and I possibly might have some on order, so I might have overstocked, but um, oh well, such it, such it, such it is. Um, these are 1x1 one one and 1x2 one plates as well, so it's uh, and again a restock. 1x2s um, especially bring my Marada cars, just go through them like candy, uh, they're terrible for that. Um, some new 2x4 plates in black as well. Um, headlight bricks, these are in light bluish grey, black and red. 
And there's also a one by one regular brick with two studs on opposite sides as well. So this little uh, bit of snot uh, bricks there, they're always useful. And also bought this one by eight garage brick from her as well, because it's a really nice print. It's a fairly old one. I think it's sort of um, town at the latest, sort of early town, because they changed a lot of the designs and that and moved away from that. It's sort of more sort of a um, sort of period where they were just after they'd start finished using the sort of HO scale vehicles and we're moving on to proper buildings. The, the, these sort of bricks came into use and were used for quite a bit um, for sort of doing them, sort of doing um, their own like proper shell stuff and stuff like that. And there's also a little bag of uh, clips I bought from uh, her shop as well. Um, some of these are the one by two plate with two clips on the side. So uh, useful for that. And there's lots of useful parts um, just generally for other stuff as well. Um, there's also, I think that's pretty much everything. Yeah, there's also um, Peter Good Goodwin, who's actually published a book about, I think it's called The Streets of Brickingdon. Um, and he was there sending off some bits and pieces. So I've bought myself another pig. So it's always good to get a pig. Um, these are CMF, I think they are. They're originally released, and then they're released in the Farmway for City many years ago i think it was about 2012 but don't quote me on that year um so it's a really nice uh mold there's very little in terms of print there's actually only the uh, eyes so this probably won't come out well so you sort of see there's uh, a little black dot on there um and that actually has an eye on it so i'll just dump this in the uh farm one just before i do though um i will show you the difference because they actually did two of the pig. Uh, they did one with a brown print on for the ear and like a spotted cow, spotted pig roller. And then you got the uh, regular one underneath. So it's good to get one of those. Um, and I also bought some of these uh, clips as well, not clips, it's not um, plates with the two by two studs on the side. So I'll just take one out. And there we go. So you can sort of see the details there. Um, and they're going to possibly be used for the Susquehanna Hopper. Again, I'm planning something, um, which remains to see if it's feasible, but I'm planning something. So um, hopefully I can get those in and run a bit more detail out. Um, and then I also purchased from the, uh, Peter some more Papi Max drawers. Uh, these are in black. Um, I think these are unused as well, so um, these were a nice bargain, £17 uh, for the two. Um, so, really nice uh, units, um, and as you can see, I've got plenty here. I can actually fill these unit, fit these units in here, um, and they can go up another layer. Um, and then I think that's the maximum I need. I think I just need to trim a bit more of that back shelf before putting any more on. So, you know, it's a precursor to that. And then lastly, um, there's also one order from um, Chef Bricks. Uh, Chef Bricks is run by um, a member of Sheffield Lug. The I sold some stuff to him and uh, about reduced the cost of my order. So the original order was at 50 something and because I sold him some stuff, it, it down nice, really nice down to do 30. Um, so this order contains a awful lot. I'm not sure whether it's 650 or um, 850 of these one by two plates in dark red. Um, and there's so it was 850. Yeah, so 850. Um, so there's plenty there. Um, and I took six of those bags, uh, so 300 pe pieces. I made a bit of a uh, brick wall. So people who follow me on Instagram have already seen this. Um, but it's a really nice effect to create this sort of like brick pattern. It's not such good in this sort of light because it's sort of got that very sort of sheen to it, like there, and it reflects the lights. Um, but in like normal exhibition conditions, you can sort of see all the detail. Um, this is just a test piece. Um, so I don't know whether to use this for a warehouse uh, for the trains or to 
uses just to start off a power station um, mocked for like the receiving shed for the hopper cars um, to get washed before they get tipped out so uh, it remains to be seen what I do with that um, there's uh, things, uh, some packing bits in here so we have 1x2 uh, plates in dark bluish grey some 1x1s in dark green these are actually ridiculously cheap because uh, isn't there? It's not a very common colour. Um, some two by two slopes, curved slopes in green as well to finish off the Octane uh, 1940s tank car. Um, some whoop, some one by two plates in green again uh, for the Susquehanna hopper, um, and it's just filler as well. Um, so this is an interesting bag. 100 one by one cheese slopes in black um, and I bought these so I can do some stuff for detailing uh, but a lot of this is just the um, journal box covers uh, for freight cars um, so it's a fairly regular part use in the Lego trains hobby so I feel no qualms about sharing that with you um, get more bags of tight red um, you have some dark orange uh, hips and legs, so it won't come out very well in the artificial lighting, but uh, they're just plain legs, so I can put those on uh, the monofigs, or one of the monofigs when I come around to looking at it. Um, one by one plates in black as well, um, always good to get a restock of those, um, fairly common part uh, to use. Um, two packs of uh, headlight bricks. I think this is 40 in total, um, but again, useful part to have. Uh, more useful does not work and that sort of stuff. Um, some one by eight tiles in red um, because I'll need some for future work possibly. Um, and red's always a easy colour to use in things or as detailing or stuff like that. And then we have a bag of one by two plates in black. Um, to polish everything off so there's a very good restock here um, from that show um, and I would have loved to have done because of this yesterday because it's Monday today so I've just come from work I had my evening meal and sort of started sorting this out um, so I'll be putting uh, the video together and uploading it while I'm sorting this lot out um, and then I'll probably be able to do an update on the Siskan Hopper because I'll have put these parts to use and sorted those out. So, uh, yeah, that's it for the Black Country Bricks update. You know, very good show and well attended. Um, in terms, and this is the big one when we do charity shows and what people always want to know is how much did we raise. And it was just under £2,000, um, what I've been told. So... It's very good that we were able to raise that amount, um, you know, and it's a feat and, you know, just from the dedication of the volunteers, because um, everyone volunteered to be at the show, you know, there weren't any expenses paid or that sort of stuff, so everybody there was a volunteer or donating something. Um, I donated sets and poly bags for the Tombola. Um, everyone's donated time and their models to be on show and that sort of stuff, so, uh, yeah, it's... Um, yeah, fantastic results I think we're all concerned and uh, you know I think the next one for Brick Central is Bristol Bricks um, which I don't know whether I can attend or not I need to check the calendar and um, see when that is um, so events wise I think the next one is going to be the Lug Meet for Sheffield Lug which is next Sunday um, I hope to be able to make that um, I think that's going to be it for me for events and um, Lego purchases for a while. There's a few bricking orders coming, um, uh, but that's it's as far as I'm concerned. So uh, yeah, time to get this lot, little lot sorted, and uh, yeah, see you in the next video.